Beyond Heroes is a series of wonderful one-shots that uh, culminates into an overarching campaign uh, that we know and love. We are joined by many wonderful and amazing D&D players I am privileged to play with. We have Jen Kretschmer. We have, as a guest star today, we have Amy Vorpal. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, we can talk. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Hope Lavelle, B. Dave Walters, Adam Bradford, uh, Laura Urban, and we are missing TJ today, unfortunately. Uh, he's out being the Predator or Vader or something. So, uh, Predator Vader. <laughs> predator Vader. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play that None of RPG. which is violating any non disclosure agreements that may or may uh, not no, be. No, no, no. Yeah, no, we don't no. actually know what he's doing. We didn't I, know. I, actually I violated know. only. So 10. don't post that on Reddit. <laughs> Godzilla. He's, uh, being, Godzilla. he's being a Star War right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, the theme of the show is it's a series of one shots. So you not you don't you do not need to see previous episodes of the show to understand what's about to happen. Don't worry, we're not going to understand what's about to happen. Uh, it gets a little crazy every time one of us rolls a d twenty. That means that everyone in chat gets a chance at winning a legendary bundle. So yes, this is a terrible idea <laughs> because uh, we will probably spend our entire budget on rolling twenties. <laughs> and we will see how that goes. But at least you, the viewer, uh, gets a benefit from that. We also have a big shout out titled Champions, which is also uh, uh, got a code for all idol champion users as well. Uh, Lauren, is that about it? Did, did I get everything? Sure. Why are you asking me? <laughs> You're, You're the community charge. manager of D&D Beyond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only because yes. it's your job. <laughs> no, she's like, yeah, I'm Orkira. She's Orkira ing. I'm Orkira ing. Right now, yes. Right now. My job is to okay. heal everybody. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, uh, let's begin. with the dawn. Our brave adventurers have uh, been notified by the Eldritch Knights in the Feywild that there has been some sort of disturbance. Now, there had been a Ladrin town that had been set up in the very heart of Chult in Feyrun. And there in Chult, uh, suddenly they lost communication with this new outpost that they had established. Multiple Ladrin, including Eldritch Knights, had been sent to investigate why this small town has stopped communicating with the Feywild. And so you have been sent in. Unfortunately, your uh, battle balloon, which you stole from uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, has broken down. Uh, your your pilot, Rarv, is working on it currently. And that is why you, at this very moment, have braved the jungles of Chult and have arrived to this outpost uh, via dinosaur back. So oh, tell me, yeah. <laughs> tell me each of you what type of dinosaur you're riding on. Uh, also, within we limits. Don't have to ride dinosaurs. We get to ride dinosaurs. <laughs> exactly. True. What a privilege. <laughs> All right. Uh, Penelope Half Pint, what are, what are you riding? Penelope Half Pint is riding um, a bronchiosaurus. Is that what they're called? <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> is it called a, a bronto? A we're good, we're good, we're good. You're talking we're about the long necks? Yeah! <laughs> oh. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus! That's the one! Okay, so but Penelope's not riding it. She's up on top of the head and she's kind of sitting cross legged and she's just like, yay! <laughs> okay, that's excellent. Uh, you seem to be in harmony most of all than anyone else with, with this. Uh, Brachiosaurus, being a druid that you are, you have made fast friends. He's a herbivore. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. 
Uh, Jen, what are you writing on? I'm give a shout out to Dan Telfer here and take an Ankylosaurus, uh, <laughs> a, an armored lizard, uh, a fuse lizard. And uh, so all the plates, all the armor, and the Lindra's on there clinging on for dear life. Absolutely terrified. <laughs> This is not like the giant owls. <laughs> Elinda is writing backwards. <laughs> <laughs> then having well, to someone see has it. to make sure that our six is covered. A a as you're writing along, it stops suddenly and, and refuses to move any further towards the village. Um, you don't know that if you're sensing fear from it, the other dinosaurs are moving forward, and then it starts to defecate all over the ground. Oh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the perfect cube, it's amazing how it's like a wombat. Perfectly <laughs> natural function. <laughs> and then once it finishes, oh. it, it, it flips its tail and then and then keeps on walking. Uh, what who is what what is Briv Steelmarrow riding on top Hell of? No quite obviously a pterodon of some sort because he is a, he is a flying uh he, he always tries to fly if he can okay you you are flying above the pterodon cannot quite reach all the heights because of your unusual condition <laughs> what is my unusual condition unusual not being condition. able to fly <laughs> You got metal bones. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a little heavy. Yeah, that's fine. You're still marrow. It's a, it's a pretty big pterodon, though. Right? Yeah. Riv always big. picks the chunkiest of boys. B <laughs> 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 Dave, what are what is freely the halfling riding uh, on top of? Dinonychus, which is like a, a, a larger scale velociraptor, but okay. I'm riding in the front and getting it to like carry me in its dinosaur arms. So I'm like sitting up on the front of it, like holding onto its head. Are you yeah. in a Velociraptor baby born Bjorn? Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But 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 it's got like like emergency straps. Like I cut this quick, you know, get to the ground if I had to. That seems like maybe the only safe You're place to be on the raptor. Casting. It's true. Yeah. Right. I mean it's like, like a perfect caster suit. It's exactly. holding yeah, you up. Right. It's like a mecha mecha suit for a caster. Yeah. I, I have a meat mecha. Meet Mecca. Oh, oh like fantastic. Well, uh, aren't we all really just meat Meccas for our brains? I was going to say meat Meccas for our so souls, deep. but yes, that's our that's the, the difference in our characters there. Yes, yes. <laughs> or Kara Eldrex, well, what are you riding on top of, if anything? Well, Briv took a flying dinosaur, which... Uh, secretly actually made Orkira pretty happy because she didn't actually want to fly. She wanted to be able to ride a dinosaur because she saw the Triceratops and thought that was the coolest thing ever. So I think for once, uh, Orkira's at the front holding on to the, the giant shield back of this thing as we charge forward through the underbrush. And she's like, this is awesome. This is so much fun. Why haven't we done this before? Are we supposed to name our dinosaurs? <gasps> yes. We don't name them, they name themselves. You so say we just ask, ask them, them what their, their names? names are. Oh, okay. I actually wouldn't mind if the rest of this game were just the role play of how we acquired these dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Did Averin steal these dinosaurs? Yes. They're actually yes. <laughs> polymorph yeah. enemies uh, that Averin has now taken into a lifetime of servitude. We acquired uh, the when they dinosaurs. lost a bet. Also 50% likely. <laughs> <laughs> I will roll a dice to figure out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to answer it, but uh, that's good to know. <laughs> All right. You uh, uh, and and uh, what is your character's name? Amy Vorpal. Um Am I with the group? No, you're not. That's right. You are. You, I'm not. You, yeah, you are. Uh, so, do you want to know my name right now, or do you? No, wanna... I don't. I don't want to. Know. <laughs> <laughs> or the nice, or you rode in on. <laughs> uh, so, you guys approach the village. The village looks. Um, village isn't the quite w the right word for what the Eladrin do. It's these amazing, um, you know huts if you want to call them that but they're they're huts that are just carved of solid wood and extremely intricate with um, glowing fairy fire permanently cast on them they're just immaculate and beautiful amongst this 
this amaz amazingly large jungle. And most of them are attached to several of the trees as well in some way. So there's several tree houses, but there's also some of these, you know, almost like kind of a white pine wood, um, arc, you know, structures are also on the ground as well. And is a very Aladrin feeling, um, kind of mystical experience to see this suddenly part through the tree, the trees of the jungle and, and to see this kind of majesty and magic. But you see no one. You guys, I think I know why Kane didn't come. He was gonna feel bad that this place is cooler than his village. He would have been in Wingda. I've the never whole time. seen such beautiful nature before. How do they keep the fairy fire up all the time? But where is everybody? Briv is going to park the Pteranodon <laughs> on, on on top of one of the huts and it just starts, you know like kind of relieving it so just natural processes <laughs> just na natural right. processes yeah a big gooey white messy poo slides down almost making a noise as it does so down the top of one of the huts press <laughs> so, ah, uh, digitation by the way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like let's just not make the the wrong impression here let me get that for you <laughs> little... uh what do you all do Are, are we? What, what are we doing here again? <laughs> We're looking for people. There's supposed okay. to be people here. I always <laughs> feel so confused each time we start all of our quests lately. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll just start right off with the divine sense. Uh, any celestial fiends or undead, just turn turn on the radar, see who's around. How far does that work? Sixty feet. Sixty feet. You do not sense. Any of those things? Well, nothing overtly terrible is around. At least, I mean, I mean, it could be just like bad people, but you know, there's no one dead. There's no like demon stuff. Like, all right, and I just ride my Velociraptor in the middle of town. Okay. You, you, <laughs> like, you, you, <laughs> which, for the record, is a sentence I've been waiting my whole life to say. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, maybe it's not like we were making a, a very stealthy approach, and I'll <laughs> follow freely. Maybe they're just hiding in the trees. And Penelope's going to send Griff to the up trees. to the trees. Because okay. I'm already tall enough to see the trees. <laughs> <laughs> you see nothing. And uh, I, need, I need a perception check from uh, everyone. Okay. 14. 23. Of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, do what? Uh, oh, perception. I am also a fourteen. Oh, sorry. Uh, I eighteen. I need some four tens. Okay. Uh, I assume you 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 did not succeed, Briff. <laughs> Roll the disbelief. None of this uh, is real. It was a seven. It was a seven. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Briff doesn't even know he's on right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, Arkira, a very unsettling feeling happens. And sure, you are dragonborn and you, you don't have hairs, but your scales almost prickle as you realized there are no sounds. You see no birds. You Do hear have... no noises in the jungle at all, other than the labored breathing of your dinosaurs. Do I have an idea how long that silence has been going on? Like... Is it as soon as we enter town, or? Uh, probably for the last mile into town. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> and as you look around, you don't see rodents. You don't see any birds flying in the air other than Griff. And Griff sees nothing as well. Hmm. Has anyone noticed we're in the middle of this really thick jungle and there's just nothing? No birds, no animals. Um, anyone else creeped out? I'm a little creeped out. Perhaps I, they have disappeared. Does not Keen disappear on a frequent basis? This is true. They, they may have gone into the Feywild, but I think it's a bit odd that they all went at the same time. Even the animals. I actually have a pretty decent animal handling. I'm going to look at my dinosaur and the rest of them and see, do they seem scared or freaked out? Like, do the animals, our animals seem panicked in any way? 
You go ahead and roll me an animal handling check. Um, <clears throat> that is a natural 20. That is a natural 20. That means hey, there you go. one of our viewers has a chance to win a legendary bundle who's in chat right now. Oh, ooh, hey. There's the big 20. We all knew you were one with this velociraptor, but now you really are. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. By her, I'm taking it with but Let me just say now, I'm taking this with us. You know that, right? Like you, your, your raptor is deeply upset <laughs> and uncomfortable for a raptor. It pretty much doesn't feel fear most of the time and is used to being in a pack, but right now is unsettled by the situation. Uh, girl. Pen Penelope, Penelope. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, my my dude here is a little upset, and I, I I can't figure out like what he's scared of. Maybe the animals know something we don't know. Can you ask him? Your little dude? No, like you know. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep asking him. Oh, oh, no, no, like my ride. Right. Like no, not my little dude. Like that's, that is a oh. that is a very big. That's a. Uh, I'm sorry. Have you know? No, no my it's a home dinosaur. Spell. Yes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, oh, Andrew, I also have a little dude. It's my <laughs> unseen servant, and I can summon it at will. Oh, I can oh. summon my little dude at will, but that's not what no! we're talking about. <laughs> something else. No, no, no. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah. The young heroes. heroes. We yeah. maintain a PG-13 ring. <laughs> Sorry. But can you, can you <laughs> ask him? Uh, you can talk to these guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can. I can. Oh, I will guess. Okay. Um, what is it? Speak with creatures. Speak with animals. <clears throat> with Barney. Okay. And you start speaking to. What are you writing again? Who? Which uh, one oh, are you talking to? Barney. Yeah, mine. I like Your, that. Yours is named Barney. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sir Kira. <laughs> what, what do you You're say to, to to Barney? Are you are you doing okay? How's it going? No. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? There are no sounds. Do you know why? No. Okay, this has been really helpful. I'm glad I could help you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, freely with the. Uh, I don't think our dinosaurs are gonna be very much help here. They seem uh just scared. That's not nice. I did my best. <laughs> you did. You did great. Thank you. There is something unnatural in the forest. Oh, like what? Aren't, aren't I you, don't know. Aren't you unnatural for this forest? I am a natural <laughs> inhabitant of this forest. <laughs> so how that do you know speechless. it's not you? <laughs> what? Uh... Okay, they say there's something unnatural in this forest, guys. Methinks it is us at this point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, can someone, does someone want to detect good and evil? See if we can find things in the area that don't belong here? We have already tried to scout out for outsiders not native to this plane, and it has not produced any results i still think everyone's just hiding oh my gosh is it somebody's um, birthday I'll papa detect magic then and okay. reaches into her her pouch and begins to withdraw the materials necessary um oh it's just a, uh, begins the motions necessary and, and saying the words to, how, to how far magic. does detect magic spread a uh, 30-foot <laughs> sphere. Okay. Uh, you see various magical items glow on your party members, um, mm -hmm. in including your own items. You look over at Briv, and you almost see an x-ray of him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> something's very strange with his skeletal structure. <laughs> As he, he, he pops up like this glowing scion. <laughs> so magic and mind bones and it will apply to me so if i walk around it will affect things and you as do I walk. see a glow coming from the jungle in from the, the jungle yes oh i'm going to send griff ahead to see what what it is okay uh amy warple 
I think that I'm Amy You're... Vorpal right now, actually, on the stream. So you know, I, get to, I think we're happened? having some technical difficulties. <laughs> are you? Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are. Adam, <laughs> congratulations. I, it, it really is an upgrade. It's a good way to I have be. To admit, it's and an upgrade. reference the new host at the Nerdist. Uh, I lost Todd completely. I get to do those little short videos about all the cool things that have happened today, like now. I love it. Yeah, Todd's camera's uh, gone completely for me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. We can hear him, but we cannot see him. He is he is a sneaky DM. I have to, I have disappeared into the, the... He's just a voice. He's like the Aladrin. Oh my That's gosh. He stayed too long. Oh no, he entered his winter. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yay. Oh, I was in my darkness. Um, <clears throat> so uh we're still all over the character. place and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Musical chairs um you see you see a a humanoid made it's hard to tell if it's 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 not it's a warforged for sure but gosh it sure does look human and you can't it's almost imperceptible if you can tell which plates are skin and which plates are a uh, metal and um it's it's kind of asexual so it's just a human uh pretty bald um it looks it's it has a huge head um with a little bit of, a little bit of human a little bit of dragonborn uh that it looks like it kind of meshed together and there is electricity flowing through we'll call it we'll call her a her um and she's writing do i get to pick a dinosaur yes okay so she's actually just <clears throat> Kind of being carried like this by a bunch of compies, um, <laughs> and, and yes, enough enough to hold her sturdy and massive, uh, coppery and um, chrome body. Oh my uh, gosh! Do you approach the heroes? I think I think so. Right, that's my my I'm meant to join up with them. Or yeah, yeah. So I I, I have been looking for you and. And so as the compi, I'm, I'm lying on my back and I'm looking around and oh, there, who's coming up? Grip. Griff, Griff. Uh, Griff is <laughs> an, an owl. owl, so Griff is flying oh. above you. Oh, okay. So uh, she, oh, hey, uh, you're, the, you're the owl of that, that lady that I'm supposed to be looking out for. Can you guide me t to him? And Griff sort of <laughs> lands on a branch a distance away because some bad yeah. times with getting attacked by random people who said they were friendly. <laughs> okay. Uh, and sort of... Well, you're so cute. Look at you. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just taking... I've just taken a little He's... snooze all of all these little dinosaurs. Carry me towards where I'm meant to go. Also, Griff is all of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I guess... <laughs> You know, I guess um, I'll just keep going in the direction. Alindra I'm not being quiet either. I'm is going to report back what she's okay. seeing. So right. Br Briv a, starts a, a to person. fly away once, once uh, I, I hear that someone's actually there and it's not silent over that direction. Okay, Freely would go too. Yeah, you know I could tell you just what's there before you. <laughs> In case everyone's rushing over. I on grow their bored of sitting around on top of these strange little huts. Why do I even try? Hail and well met, strange <laughs> metal you maiden. Me, you, you can tell me. I haven't well, rushed off. There's a, there's a person and they're made partially of metal and partially of skin and they're riding campies. And uh, they said that they're looking for us. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. I don't, they weren't particularly specific. So I'm not sure if they were actually looking for us or if it was a lucky guess, but <gasps> they're there. This is the best story ever. Good to know. We need uh, to get you some more stories, Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what we do every week? And I will follow everybody now to go talk to whoever this is. All Come right. on, Penelope, Brib. let's go. And I take her hand. <laughs> Rib, as soon as he sees the uh, sunbathing creature uh, atop several compies, many hundreds of compies possibly, uh, just yells out, Hail and well met, strange metal maiden. How art thou this day? Well, that was, you really you didn't have to use the adjective strange. I, I don't know what that's about. I'm just a kind of normal, you know, just 
you want to take that back? You want to redo or? What? Uh, I do not do redos. However, <laughs> I shall say that strange does not necessarily mean a bad thing. Oh, all right. Briv's yeah. favorite word is the word Selkuth. Who's Briv? <laughs> Briv is who thou art talking to. Oh, hello. All right. Well, okay. I guess I guess to you I might be strange. So, hi everybody. Um, I'm looking for specifically you. Um, uh, Lindra. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah. Um, who are you? Well, I'm I'm Lindra. Oh, I'm Bamboo Boo. <laughs> Bamboo Boo. Yeah, hello. I'm it, it, It's lovely to meet you, Bamboo Boo. Um, Bamboo Boo. Who that sounds made you? up. It is. It isn't my born given name, but it, or it was given to me anyway. Um, it's Ab not as bad as Valdridge. Just leave her alone. <laughs> Don't shame anyone for their name. Briv. Very well. Yeah, Briv's got a freaking problem with me. <laughs> I have <laughs> no problem with, with being fair. Don't take it personally. Oh, fair, I can do. Fair, is something I can do. This is actually him being very nice. Oh, That's true. He hasn't right. even hit you yet. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I hope he doesn't. If y'all are all in a crew, um, uh, Alindra, I was sent here to look for you by my, I guess I'd call him my father, uh, oh, Avrin. Uh, <laughs> and Alindra just, <laughs> Alindra's already like the color of marble. If it's possible to go any paler, all of the blood drains from her face for a second. Oh, you look like you've seen a ghost. Sister, <laughs> I look like I've seen a sister and then a tear rolls down her cheek and she just hugs you <laughs> oh yeah uh or kira or kira did he I, die when you met him too i have a number of questions that she's like Averin and that but she's a robot person I, what yeah, how I, far I don't, does Averin get around is the question i, I don't believe i think this is an actual mission i think this was all set up just so that the two of them could meet uh I'm oh, gonna start so there's looking not a for... whole village of people missing, an entire forest of people, things, and creatures missing? Oh, no, no, I wouldn't put it past Averin to have like a secret scrying thing somewhere, and now he's just watching because... Oh, I think there's still a, a strange village of disappeared people. I was I was made aware of that, if, and if you were too, it checks so, out. In Normally, what way does thou mean strange right, so... in that sentence? <laughs> in what way does thou mean strange in that sentence? Oh, what what did I say? I don't remember. <laughs> exactly. You know, I would be mad that he sent us chasing our tails again, but I got to ride a dinosaur and I got my new best friend Fiaka here, so I'm good. I head back to town. Hey, hi, Bamboo Boo. Hey, Bamboo Boo. My name's Penelope Halfling. Do you want to be my friend? Well, yeah. Oh, that's great. Bamboo Boo, meet Barney. Barney Bamboo Boo. What's, what's up, little guy? <sighs> Yeah. I think, I think keeps, you're very you just... pretty. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think I'm pretty too. Um I've never okay. seen anything like you before. Well, I wasn't yeah, I guess I guess Alindra, you should know I wasn't created in the same way many beings were. It was kind of an I'm kind of an amalgamation, honestly. And okay. I think I think Avern was trying to destroy me and instead created me, if that makes sense. That sounds about right. Is yeah. his modus operandi? Join the club. Sure. Oh, okay. So, who's, who is your mother? I think it's me. <laughs> this just gets keeps better and better. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I, sort I, of. No. Yeah. Wait. wait no. That doesn't. Wait, so are, are you here? I'm so confused. Oh, I think the real answer to your question is magic is my mother. Oh, that makes oh, sense. Yes, yes, does, that, yes. does that check out a little more? <laughs> yeah. So, well, I guess I'm here to help you. I really wanted to be here for a reunion, but we kind of handled that real quick. So it, it, it to... happens often with Avery, though you're the first sibling I've met. Oh, yeah, you're I my mean... first sibling I've met too. Do, do you two That's need lovely. a moment? We, we we can go check all the the Eladrin that are missing. We can go try to find them while you. No, I, I I'm I'm 
an elf and she's metal, so I think we have plenty of time down the line. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I've got nothing, nothing but time. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we are walking into a dangerous situation and I, I don't have any more diamonds to revivify anyone. So I'm just saying, and I'll go follow Freely. <laughs> okay. Right. Freely, what are you doing? So to be clear, even though we're not hearing any anomalous animal noises, our sounds aren't muted. Like if we make noise, we can hear ourselves, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can hear yourselves perfectly. Um, if you do a survival check, I can get you a little bit more information as to the surroundings, if you're so inclined. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, how can I say no to that? Um, it's, mm -hmm. uh, that's a big old 19. Uh, you, clearly there was a massive storm uh, the night before you arrived. The, 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 the ground is still very muddy and pelted with rain, and uh, a little bit of flooding might have also occurred as well and you can hear a storm in the distance approaching maybe just a few minutes away does it seem like a normal storm it's absolutely it, it seems like a normal storm okay. that you would find in the in the, in the rainforest around this time um i'm gonna point back and hit the nearest person i can with message that i'm like storms come in maybe we should seek shelter in one of these buildings I and then hot I start yelling. I'm like, hello, we are here to help you. Hello, are you in distress? I was gonna go check out like the inside of one of these huts. Uh, okay. See if there's anything left behind, any people, any bodies, anything. You, um, you go into one of the huts and it's actually quite larger than you expect when you do so. So like several of these hut isn't even the right term. They appear on, as huts on the outside, but it's it's almost more like a hobbit hole in terms of like architecture mm. and openness. Um, as you go through, you you find a, a dining room of this, you know, elaborately carved live edge table and there's still food. Oh no. Set out. And there's flies hovering around the food and the drinks. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> as as a I'm half ranger and half paladin, but I think my ranger skills are gonna just kind of click in and see if I can um track anything or like great movement towards one area is kind of what I'm looking for. Um you're just, you're just trying to find tracks of any kind. Uh yeah, specifically, specifically, if if there seems to be great, great movement towards a direction, um, um, the tracks mostly have been watered out by by the rain mm. in this whole area. So you guys are making fresh tracks, but it's almost, um, it's like someone has pelted the ground with sticks, almost to like hide. You're not quite sure how, how to ascertain this. It may be that there's so many footprints, you can't quite make things out. It's a oh. lot of like weird cross stitching of lines, and you don't know if this is like something capable of a spell or something else. But it, it's you can almost identify no footprints. Um, and and to be clear, we are in the Feywild. No, you are in Chult. You are in the jungle in Chult. But they've lost they've lost communication with the Feywild. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Do we know how 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 they would communicate with the Feywild? Like is there a portal or like a stone or like what do we know how they would have they, they're usually casting a spell. Using it, okay. Yeah. I'll poke my head out of the the house that I've walked into and say, uh, nobody here and Dinner's still on the table. They left in a hurry. Say no more. And Brave dismounts. I, I would into not. The hut. No, no, I would not recommend. It's gone bad. There's flies and everything. You don't. Uh, you're not going that bad. is up to. That is somewhat subjective. <laughs> oh, Karen. well, that's a good <laughs> point. Can you can you tell how long the food's been left cold? Uh, could I? You can if someone makes some kind of. I think also survival check. You will figure Riv. out. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, Brip, take I can a bite. normally eyeball. Uh, <laughs> don't and, don't tempt him. So, yeah, Brib is less, uh, what, what kind time. of food is it? Uh, it depends on if it's like things that rabbits would eat or things that Briv would eat. Um, <laughs> well, some are actually literally rabbit. 
Oh, so. okay. So yeah. Briv would eat rabbits. So okay. yes, he uh, absolutely is going to uh, just kind of you know rip off some, start chewing on it. I can certainly make a check, survival check, if I need to. I will be standing behind him with lesser restoration, ready to go. Just I'll give you an advantage for eating it too. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. I'm not even really going to stop him. I'm going to warn him, but be like, well, he's just okay. So that away. is an 18, which uh, is a 19 minus one. Oh yeah, it's uh... a. <laughs> <laughs> It's still, I mean, it's a great moment for Briv. Uh, yeah, you taste it, and, and there is a very gaminess to the meat. Um, Somewhat gamey. Your tongue detects some, one maggot <laughs> inside. Yeah. And I got a okay. special surprise. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, the, the very, uh, it's fine. Super nutritious. Um, and is this, this food may have been out for weeks. This food was likely out for weeks at this point. Maybe you should stop eating it. I am hungry, and I, there is food. I need you to make a percentile check. Anything okay. below uh, 10% is food poisoning. Ooh, oh, okay. You can do it. <laughs> 90%, I like uh, those options. You know what? Uh, bardic inspiration. I believe in you. I got money writing on this. <laughs> Don't throw up. Don't throw up. <laughs> so that I is as 12%. I had to do a double take, but that's 12%. <laughs> Look. Got real close. Yeah, you had the rumbly tumbly, and then you you, you controlled it. <laughs> Ma magical Pepto Bismol. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You hear okay? Reflux. I am completely fine. I thank <laughs> thee for thine concern. You hear Briv's stomach. <laughs> Was that a dinosaur? <laughs> That's a Brivosaur. Inside. <laughs> yes. Brivosaur. Barney outside response. <laughs> 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 oh, Barney. I lovest thou, thou lovest me. Uh, ahead of this storm arriving, I just kind of really quick run from building to building to see if there's any like obvious storm shelter. I mean, this is a rainforest, so it seems like they might have been prepared for that. I know they control the weather, but who knows? Yeah, there are actually several huts have tunnels um, that have been carved underneath them and been hey. reinforced with wood and magic as well as like stone shape. Um, that interconnect the different huts. Including... Time to get my halfling on. I just, I'm like, you guys, there's tunnels. And I just... <laughs> tunnels, I follow you. <laughs> uh, as, as, is anyone else going into the tunnel? <laughs> what, what, what are we I doing mean, are, would Griff oh. fit? Hey, yeah, Alindra. A, you're going to have a diehard experience. I'm going to let you know that. Like. Dive underground with me, Alindra? Absolutely. Oh, let's go then. <laughs> but, That's an important sister? point of clarity. Did you meet my sister? I have a sister. <laughs> Alindra is acting so strangely at this point in time. We should have found her a sister far before this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what were you like before me, Alindra? <laughs> Dower. <laughs> Arrogant. No, not Alindra. Alindra? <laughs> me? Is the oh, same no. person, yes. No. She's, she's so jovial. Yeah. We've been please cracking stop, jokes back please here. Please stop doing what you're doing. Let me summon a tiny hut. No, please don't. Yeah, that's basically what said. Oh, you're <sighs> fine. You can't stay in the, in the tiny hut ever again. Hey, Alindra, he, didn't, he wasn't able to before. <laughs> banished shed. I don't know. His impression is unrecognizable from the Alindra that I've known for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Best sister. I love her so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you probably not, tricked my laughing. dad, but <laughs> I don't care. I am and so I hug confused. her again. <laughs> yeah. Her her cold metal body. <laughs> <laughs> I have squishy bits. I have squishy we can work bits. with this. We can I have work squishy with. bits. Listen, I hate to break up this really sweet moment between a complete stranger and your sister, <laughs> but. I'm kind of worried about the dinosaurs. If there's like a big, can the dinosaurs get in the wherever we're going? Is there a place? No, they can't, they, they can't go inside. outside, Okira. I think compies can go anywhere, right? Yeah, there the compies can. All right, I'm going to start listing them? them. I'm going to call them by name, all 100 of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, go ahead. 101. Yeah, right. You right. definitely you are my sister. 100% <laughs> you're my sister. Get in here, Richard. Oh, Sally, you're next. Camilla, come on, man. This may take a while. Sally, too. 
<laughs> is is Freely's Velociraptor an actual like in real life size Velociraptor like the little guys or is it like dressed? Technically, it's a Dinonychus. It's a little bigger. It's than a Dinonychus. Okay. They're, they're they're larger and they also have a hooked claw. They're they're, they're the they're the, the beefy version of Velociraptors. Oh my god! Why does think? everyone know so much about dinosaurs? <laughs> I only know <laughs> Jurassic, Park. Jurassic Park. That's it. <laughs> I know all Fia the fake stuff. Fiaka's cool. No, she's gonna hang. I thought she. I thought he was a he. He's a she. I was wrong. Um, but no, but like Bianca's gonna be great. But I, I'm a little yeah. worried about Bob, and I'll point to the Triceratops. Mm -hmm. Bob and Barney. <laughs> Why is everyone's dinosaur name such a strange sound? Mine is. <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to make up with names. To Joe, brave. I just used the name Joe. So that's Joe. I know. <laughs> Joe. Very well. Joe is far too large and must remain outside. Yeah, so is Bob. Barney's uh, head could fit. <laughs> there isn't like a dinosaur paddock or somewhere where we could store them. Uh, not really. <laughs> no. I. You know what? I've got some paladin spells. I could just cast sanctuary on each and every one of them. Oh my goodness! That's so cool. that would literally I be. I can all... help with that. Oh okay. Yeah, I want to do it. I want to cast. I'm gonna cast. Well, they would have to choose a new target. Oh yeah. So if I cast it on all three, then they would kind of be safe for at least a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so that's ten totally rounds worth. of rain. It's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly. <laughs> they cannot get hit by lightning. But uh, I'm I'm a new paladin. I I don't know. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cast three sanctuaries on three dinosaurs. Okay. Um, what is the effects of sanctuary? Can't wait. One minute. If someone attacks them, uh, they have to pick a new target, or the 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 attack doesn't go off. He okay. thinks that they are dinosaurs and they have evolved outdoors, and they are terrifying creatures that can take care of themselves. Yeah, but right? they're scared. I am. And... Will... And they have sanctuary on them. <laughs> I'm going to walk around and back her up with command on each of them uh, and and say, stay, stay, <laughs> stay, 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 stay. So stay. now even if and, some uh, kind Until of I run out of first level spells. <laughs> then and then I'll oh, get no! them back. Stay. Now they die. They die. <laughs> wait, wait, Alindra, did you run out of first level spells too? We're the same. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're the same. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and don't you think this is just like a, a, a sister sister retreat and we're all chaperones at this point? Freely, let's go into the hole quick. <laughs> Freely's been in the tunnel. He's a quarter mile each other and like rip each other's throats out. But no. <laughs> uh Penelope Half Fight and Freely have made a great deal of progress through the tunnels. <laughs> 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 and you have found um, several maps and journals, they're all in Aladrin and, and Elven. Um, they seem to have been searching for some sort of actual diamond mine of some kind. Um, mm. possibly a vein of diamonds that they could <laughs> Or Kira's acquire. face. Or just Kira. Just, what? <laughs> <laughs> for no what? reason. None. You, Zero reason why I would want. Mine? Diamonds are a cleric's best <laughs> Briv's best friend. Diamonds are an all of you's best friend, all right? <laughs> uh, so oh. order of operations, find Aladrin. Second, find Diamond Mine. <laughs> so do Alindra these is a Bamboo Boo's best friend. Oh, Bamboo Boo's and Alindra's best friend. I think I'm going to be sick. I cannot <laughs> even. Does it seem like these tunnels, like, I mean, is this a mining complex or is this sort of just like an underground, like under these buildings type? Storms thing? can get quite uh, devastating in, in the center of the Chult jungle. So this is more like well, when you don't want to be in 100 mile per hour winds, this is let's go down to the tun tunnels and things will be fine. And there's some elaborate homes and, and, and other spaces underground as well. You do find it's kind of a central hub for all the entire Aladrin town. Um, and there's like a very large kind of live edge roundish table in the center and a large dome. Um, I'm, I'm gonna divine sense again. So undead celestials infernals, if okay. there's any underground. <clears throat> Where is everyone else? 
Briv is, is definitely trying to get as far away from the sisters as he can at this point. Uh, uh, <laughs> catch up with the halflings. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think that we, we'd be up with, with people uh, exploring the open space. Okay. I, yeah. I am a ranger at heart. So you're above or below? I'm underground, and so are my hundred compies. That's right. Okay. <laughs> uh Freely, as, as you you reach out with your divine sense, how do you do it? Like, how, how do you appear when this happens? I look at Penelope and I look at the cave. I'm like, yeah, this isn't bad. It's kind of derivative of like halfling architecture. Like ours is much homier, <laughs> but you know, hang on, yeah. let me see. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I get anything. And I do just sort of feel for, cause it's not, I, I, no one ever taught me to do any of this. I just know, I'm like, mm, let me see if I feel anything. <laughs> like you turn the radar on. Sense a single feed. No. Something, like I, 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 wherever I think it is, I'm like, oh, we got some bad down that way. Apparently to, to the Northeast, you, you sense a fiend right on the very edge of your divine sense. What really? Uh, Really, you and I are very sneaky. We've got halfling nimbleness. Let's go. Um, literally in the dirt. I mean, is it is it dirt down here? I know you said it's car, but I mean, is it still uh, dirt? It's down been floors? sculpted dirt. It's almost like it's been solidified. If I get a stick, could I like draw an arrow and literally be like bad guy? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, and I can go. <laughs> yeah, you, you can do so. Uh, for Penelope and you, you. Penelope, you're looking around the room while he's doing this, and you look up, and there is blood on the ceiling. Oh, Freely. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I draw my sword and do try and sneak forward towards the fiend. I cast bark skin on myself in preparation. Okay. How long does <laughs> that's awesome? Uh, how often does tiny? Uh, I mean, divine sense, <laughs> tiny sense. <laughs> <laughs> tiny sense. Uh, how long My does tiny divine sense tingling. last? Uh, it is only the one round, but I can do it two more times. So I would be kind of trying to home in, you know, like I'd go as far as I knew. <laughs> okay, like so that. you're mo- you're moving forward, and has anyone else caught up with the two halflings? Briv is definitely barreling, trying to get away from the sisters. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast protection from evil and good on on my sister, on Alindra. Okay. That's my last. That actually is my last. Briv one. likely does not see the. Uh, dirt drawing unless it is very obvious. I mean, I, Briv and I have done this before, so it would be like... Doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. <laughs> if we have a history here, Freely, I'm all with you. God. If As Briv is barreling through, when he sees this, he just kind of fist pumps and keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the first time that you got it. Like, because there were 12 other times. <laughs> you went the other way and you had a separate adventure. He's very proud of himself. <laughs> Plan's working, buddy. Wait. Meanwhile, I'm back with the sisters, like, <laughs> listening to them gab and you know, smiling because I'm like, this is yeah. adorable. But also, I don't know if we know where we are. I don't know if we, like, Briv's run off. Uh, so what, where did everybody go? Oh, well, we saw them leave. They went that way. I love your hair, Alindra. <laughs> your hair is really nice but we should probably go check on everybody yeah i mean let's go also i heard them say something about a fiend uh what? yeah i just heard something i heard oh uh, uh, that's probably a bad thing yeah it, it i think you know what but i'm i'm pretty well handled i'm pretty well built to handle that kind of thing Fiends? Check out my double-bladed scimitar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Yeah, Freely, let's, let's get going. <laughs> you can cast divine sense, and as everyone's like approaching and get, getting closer to Freely, Freely, you get three more blips. You sense three more fiends. Riv, Riv, I got three of them now. What? Thine message said in the dirt, said one, 
bad guy. I'm like, can't you feel it too? I know you can. I could, but why do I need to do the sensing when I have us now? Because you might be better at it than me, but okay. And, oh, uh, per like, perhaps. In the dirt, this time, if I, I, again, I this time I carved three lines, and I'm, because <laughs> I realize they're behind me, so I'm trying to, like, let them know where we are. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But every do keep moving. Like, I do not wait, though. I'm like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> every, Everyone has caught, everyone who wants to be caught up to them has been caught up. Okay, yep. great. Oh, okay. Hey, what's like, going okay, on? You guys, you guys, I got, I got three bad guys up ahead. They're fiends. Oh, uh, well, I just have to say, I admire the font that you chose when writing in the ground. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that. Not everybody appreciates the kerning that, you know, it's just, it takes a lot of effort to like get. <laughs> it was easy to read from a distance. <laughs> I always eat the kerning too with the corn of pop constantly. Oh it's delicious. Well, Does you all have this kerning? He, that was the font that he used. Font, <laughs> font of what? Knowledge? Wow. Inception of a wisdom. joke. Font of oh, snacks. We'll yeah. have some later after we take care of this. Yeah, you see a little spark kind of like fl <laughs> flutter out of uh, out of uh, Bamboo Boo's brain. As her brain breaks a little. <laughs> um, <laughs> Freelead, um, so it seems like you guys are all part of a group. Is there a specific way you approach um, Briv normally rushes in. Directly. <laughs> yep. Oh, and then okay. I, I do go, actually. Right after I say directly, I'm like... <laughs> does the Divine Sense get... Uh, does anyone else use Divine Sense? You used it twice now. Yeah, I, I, had a, I, had a, I had a total of four uses, so I, I think I might have used them all. Okay. Uh, well, you used two. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I used uh, one right when I, I got have... there. I've used two under here, so I guess I have one more. Oh, I have three. Okay. I could do that. Do you want me to? I could do it many times, but I would prefer for the fake paladins to use theirs up before I use it. <laughs> I stop and turn around. I'm like, hey, whoa, hey, wait whoa, a second. Whoa, I'm not whoa, a fake whoa, paladin. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Just okay. because I have a diversity of skills does not make me less of a paladin than you. Yeah, I, know. I am simply Freely. saying that thou art a, Freely. are not as committed. I wasn't even, Wait, I, no, I was merged together to be a pallet. I know, I didn't even want this. It's just something I can do. You can't just, oh. <laughs> So thou dost not even follow an oath. I grab freely by, by the, the shoulder and I say, just point to where they are and I can look. They are this way and Briv is going to start going. Penelope <laughs> just looks at Orkira and just like, I've been trying to back <laughs> away from this argument. Like, oh, no, nope, no, nope, this is family argument. I don't, nope, 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 nope. I'm just slowly backing away. I just, I can use clairvoyance if you tell me which way they are. I know, I really, I, 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 let you, dies. I let you I know shall tell I know. thee what's in here when I get in the room. Yeah. Okay, all, all, there's all, a reason all the Briv, Briv is the only one who was not blessed here. <laughs> so everyone else is Briv blessed. Briv does not need thine blessing. I know, Briv, Briv wow. doesn't need blessings, I've blessed. been told, which is why Briv doesn't get blessed. Really, what's the other thing that you are, besides Paladin? Oh, he's... Passive aggressive. Oh, you're back to <laughs> <now. laughs> True. I'm actively aggressive, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a half leg of action. <laughs> right. yep. uh, so you use another divine sense freely, and as Briv storms forward, you now sense 12 fiends. Uh, you guys, I don't know if they're multiplying or if I can just feel it more than I'm getting closer. What, how hear, many now? 12. Now you can hear, even below ground, you hear rain, and you hear lightning strike and there's this what? rumbling sound what? oh bob is okay oh is there oh and that's okay they'll run if they get into danger <laughs> and, if it's, and if it's under a they minute they still commanded have to stay. <laughs> what why would she command them to stay <laughs> no it makes sense to me <laughs> we're gonna have to ride something out of here <laughs> Dead dinosaurs. That's <laughs> future. Right out of here. No, Fiat is hard course. She'll, she'll stand her ground. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, right. yeah, but do keep moving though. Briv, Briv, Briv. I'm like following him 
tapping him on the shoulder. Uh, really says there's 12 of them. Do, do we want to not rush in? I don't understand thine question. <laughs> 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 I would like to remind you, I can't bring <clears throat> you back from the dead right now. Do we want to scope out what's going on first. I know I'm not like the sneakiest person, but should we try? Or Kira, I know that thou art shaken by what happened with me and the Lady of Pain, but the Lady of Pain is not everywhere, and these fiends, I'm sure, are within our That's sort of her grasp. Thing is she sort of is everywhere. That's another discussion for another time. I, just... I have killed 12 fiends before. Before I even had my, uh, you know, fat back for breakfast. T so Todd? this shall be a simple, yes. simple task, Okira. Is there another path to take? Or is this tunnel only like one single tunnel? There is multiple tunnels that lead in the same direction. Oh, all in the same direction, though. Um, the, the Different directions, but yeah. What, what if we went a, a different direction, maybe a different way to get around, and then we don't have to have confrontation? How, how far say, are Briff we away from scout? these fiends? Only about right. 60 feet, right? Yeah, could, could Griff go? I mean, can you send Griff? I, I could, yes. Yeah. I can also look myself. Why yeah. are we in these tunnels in the first place? Because <laughs> there's bad things down here. Yeah, do it. Do it, Alindra. But we're trying to so avoid I'm... the bad things now. No, we want to go in the bad things. Let's exactly. We're surprised about Don't. things so they can't kill us. Well, we're Look, underground. We to to it will your be question, very Ruth. surprising that I sl slice them in two. Alindra, right, just do it. The storm. I'm, I'm trying. Do. I send Griff down one of the tunnels in the direction <laughs> that we're going. Griff. Hell yeah, fl Griff. Flies down and down the tunnel, heading towards the fiends. Does anyone else cast divine sense? <clears throat> I suppose. I will reach out with my feelings, <laughs> try to detect life, death. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send attention. out my feelings, and, and and they're gonna be in like a competitive race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send out my feelings. I'm not actually casting anything. I'm just really worried, and so I'm just. I see these two paladins doing their divine thing, and Orkira just goes. I, I, I need <laughs> opposed charisma checks versus. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, uh, nice. To find out whose divine sense reaches first. Is it a, a charisma save or just, oh, yeah, like, just, just a, a check? Just, just a charisma check. Uh, a check. Five. With, yeah, with a bonus. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that is a uh, 20 on the die and a 24. <laughs> 20 on the die. Oh, 20 on the die. Someone, someone's gonna win a legendary bundle in chess. so you all are getting a legendary bundle off a completely ridiculous check by the yeah. way <laughs> listen if the dm asks for it that's all that matters i'm, I'm the dm <laughs> so, <laughs> you're, you're welcome america yeah. and also england or whoever else is watching this right now um so you cast okay so your <laughs> i'm sorry uh amy but your character's divine sense just kind of goes and then Briv just goes Oh. Half right past. Paladin. Yeah. Half mm. Paladin. Wow. That's so good. You uh, are not accustomed to fear, and you probably don't feel afraid now. You sense 63 fiends. What the? All in a circle around you. Okay. Okay. Listen, <clears throat> I do not want in anyone to be alarmed, but. There are not 12 fiends here. Whew. And even, even I shall take the slightest bit of pause because there are actually 63 fiends within 60 feet. So uh, they practically Lindra falls should be on the floor. Not, right now. not because of how many fiends there are, but because Griff because Briv just said that he, he he's even he's taking, taking pause. pause. <laughs> he's uh, taking I am a second here. saying that 63 would be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, all right, hold on. That's just, you guys take 10 each, I'll take the 13, so we'll finish the extra ones oh. and we'll like have this mopped up, it's fine. Or, where, where are we? Are we in tunnels or are we around that table? You're in tunnels. We're yeah. in tunnels now, but. I'm gonna walk over to the, <clears throat> on the, on the ground shocked Alindra, and I'm gonna say, does Griff see what they are? Are these 
pit fiends? Does Griff see what they are? Griff makes it around a corner and you hear this weird and then Griff your connection to Griff is severed. Um, Did I see anything before that happened? No. It came from behind Griff. Uh, Todd, I'm going to use my ranger primeval awareness, which lets me know it's not it's not where, but whether any fiends are present within a mile. It, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I already told are, us now there were 63. Are we adding a zero to the end of this? this is now 630 fiends. That's <laughs> two zeros. So yeah. how, do you, how do you reach out with your primeval awareness? Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna go straight into the fabric of the air. So as a ranger, this has nothing to do with feelings or deities, but just the raw sense of what nature is to see if there are any yeah like um, anomalies about. And and I, I close my eyes and uh, yeah, you see blue electricity kind of flow through my veins as it is uh, I stand in a T position and reach forward through the yeah natural air underground okay a mile out okay. and I point to her and I go <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get to find out how many but you get to find I out I don't the get to find I you know what honestly I think I just get to sense it binarily <laughs> yes or no are they yeah. there you need to make a wisdom saving throw cuz your eyes go completely opaque and white they As do? do so. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, uh, you, my friend, are blessed. Oh, so does that do I add something? Yes. What do I add? What four? A D4? Yeah. You add one D4 on your, your wisdom saving throw. 13, 16. Okay. You manage not to pass out. You sense so many fiends. An enormous I, amount of fiends all around you. I hate all, to be the bearer of bad news, mm. but there are not 63 fiends here. There are so many fiends. I believe 63 was enough, and we should depart these tunnels at I once. Think that's a solid plan. Let's go. Perhaps this is not one we can win by fighting. We just need to find out what happened to the town, right? Well, we I found shall out take up the fiends. rear in case they hear us. What if the town is with the fiends? Really? I need a perception check. What if they have like a portal or something and we have to close it? What if they've turned into the fiends? We should go check it um, out, perception. What if there were so many fiends we can't count them all a, and a they're 19. everywhere and they're going to oh, devour us? really, really quiet. Just... You can hear the chattering. You oh. hear some kind of weird hissing sounds and chattering. Is At this it... exact moment, the ground opens up beneath Penelope Half Pint and she <gasps> falls straight down. I hole. dive after her. So I'm oh. going after her. Um, my one reaction I can do is I can, uh, oh, sorry, I can uh, shield a faith on her. Okay. As, as she drops. Okay, she, she drops into the darkness for a second. And it takes a while for your your uh, dark vision or infravision, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> uh, to 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 coalesce. But you, Penelope, as you are looking around, you hear a hiss directly behind your head. Another. I was following her as soon as she's like landed or something. I'm gonna grab her and try to go right back up. All right. No. Nope. This is still on her. Oh. Yeah. What do you um, do, Penelope Half Pint? Well, uh, I, I cast quietly create water. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, 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 Penelope would turn around. <laughs> you see. An eyeless face filled with endless rows of sharp fangs and a long dangly tongue and weird leathery wings. And you are face to face when a, with an abyssal chicken. Oh! <laughs> Slime dripping down its teeth and its spiked belly heaving as its, as its 
hungrily eyeing this it, tiny half. Is an abyssal chicken just a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in deep thoughts, but, uh... <laughs> well, um... It's the true raptor. <laughs> aren't you just the cutest thing? You take seven points of slashing damage. As it <gasps> bites you. Piercing damage, that is. Ouch! As soon as I can, I'm down the hole, too. Okay. Like, <laughs> you jump down the tunnel? I mean, after Penelope. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, so, like, are we doing initiative or do we already? Yeah, yeah, we're percent? doing initiative. Um, everyone can go first. The abyssal chicken has already acted. So let, let me know. Do you who want? Wants to go uh, first. Do you want initiative or, or no? Is no, it just? I, I is it just one? When yeah, we get there's down just there? one right now. Um. Well, that... I've been hoping to, like, as soon as she dropped, yeah. I was hoping to jump down and like grab her and go back up so i don't know where i am in this like if it's attacked her yeah. if i'm within 30 feet at that point when it attacks her i would have warding flared that that attack so it has disadvantage on the attack uh well she's been attacked it has happened so okay so yeah. at this point then yeah i would if i'm there i want to i mean unless everyone really has piled after me that was my intent was to grab her and nope back up Okay, with everyone go ahead and roll initiative freely or we got 23 and put Dang. it in chat, in group chat for the video program, so that will help. Ooh. Oh, how do I do that? Just the messenger here. Yeah, this chat. If you go to the bottom. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. I'll put it in chat, but I'll also say it out loud because I did roll a natural 20 on my hey. Hey. Oh my god, that's three! Another uh, person wins legendary bundle. I find we get three or we get zero. That has yeah. been the pattern here. It's like it's nothing or it's three. It's all or nothing. Yeah. Okay. So Show's not over though. There's time to break the record. <laughs> all right. Uh, Freely, what are you doing? Uh, the moment I see this thing, especially when I see it bit her, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Go on. Nope. Roll. Boom. <laughs> Hit an armor class of thirteen. Okay. And then next uh, up, I got thirteen on the dot before any modifiers, so I, I definitely hit it. <laughs> okay, um, I'll give you the damage here in a sec. Lauren, you are next. You can uh, tell me what you're about to do. Uh, so, so everyone's followed, and we yeah. all drop down, kind of in this spot. People are piling down into the tunnel. Okay, then uh, do do we see just the one? Do we see sixty three abyssal chickens? Do we? What do we see? Uh, you don't see nothing because <laughs> you don't have dark vision. <laughs> no, that's see. true. Yeah. I do not. Okay, but I don't even see the one that attacked. Yeah, Melody. you're seeing that one. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna see that, and I'm going to say oh, I ate one of you once, um, <sighs> and then I'm going to because everybody is going to be piling basically on top of me. Uh, I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Uh, so that's the thing that within 15 feet of me, a whole bunch of little tiny, it'll be little tiny phoenixes all flying around. And um, so when I cast a spell, anything that tries to come into the area, the affected creature's speed is halved. Uh, they have to make a wisdom saving throw and on a failed save, they're gonna take radiant damage. And that's within 15 feet of me. So I'm hoping as everybody drops on down, yeah. uh, I'm keeping everybody relatively safe. We'll see. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, that's that's gonna be my my action right there, and I've like got half a claw out to grab Penelope, and I see everybody else drop. I'm like, all right, I guess we're <laughs> staying here then. Okay. <laughs> uh, really, you, your Eldritch Blast uh, kills the Abyssal Chicken. Describe to me how this happens. Um, and uh, don't forget, everyone's blessed. So add your D4 to your it, attack lunges at Penelope and when she kind of stumbles back it moves into the hole that she was pulled under and I come flying down like <laughs> and land on it. <laughs> I'm like Briv, Briv, tell me if it tastes like chicken. <laughs> the other white meat. <laughs> no, that did not go well for us. Uh, uh, it's all cooked with Eldritch Blast too. That's so gross. Uh, <laughs> you hear endless hissing all around you and now down this tunnel and the other tunnels that are adjoining to this area you see maybe hundreds maybe thousands of abyssal chickens climbing over themselves 
not only crawling on top of the actual, you know, upside down of the actual ceiling, but on the sides of the walls and on on the ground itself. And some are trying to fly haphazardly, knocking into each other down the tunnels. And as Orkira casts her spell, they immediately hiss. And you can see their skin burning somewhat and they're held back by the barrier. But you are surrounded by a swarm of abyssal chickens. All right, time to go to work, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I believe next up is Hope. Um, so Penelope kind of walks to the edge of the barrier and she casts Speak with Animals again. And she just goes, bark, 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 bark. Um, excuse me, um, we're not trying to hurt you. Well, I mean, guess we are, because you hurt us. But really, um, we don't have to fight here if you just um, tell us what's wrong. We are hungry. Oh, okay. <laughs> what they say? What they say? Uh, they said, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> pretty much. Bah, bah. They say That's that bah. they're hungry. Um, so I could just create some food for them, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And I think that they have taste for something else. So be ready. Don't Can you ask them. where they're coming from? Like, how are they getting here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, um, you go first. <laughs> I, I can't speak with animals. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, where are you guys coming from? Our mother had us come here. Oh no, guys! Hey, there's a there's a mothership. <laughs> I shall have there's words with thine mother. You can talk to ships. <laughs> Uh, and that'll be my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good use of return. Uh, Jen, you are up. What are you attempting to do? You, we are not really in combat right now. Uh, Lauren has kind of stopped combat by okay. keeping the abyssal chickens away. That's well, my you know, job. You, you saved these chickens' lives, let me tell you. I was ready to... Mm. I want to keep helping, but I don't know what the best way to do that. Well, Kira, how can I help... Well, I just want to leave, but that's not going to happen. I can keep this up for 10 minutes, so we've got a little bit of time. Oop, there, short rest. Uh, right. there, is one, there is one tunnel that is not filled with abyssal chickens. I, I can't move it. Oh. Yeah. Nope, it's, I, I think it just, oh no, they stay with me. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh... You call forth spirits to protect you. They flirt around you to a distance of 15 feet for the duration, which is 10 minutes. So I'm oh, sorry. Wow. Akira would know that. Uh, you'd have to stay within 15 feet of me. And in 10 minutes, I got to cast it again. But I can. All right. So you can should we go to, to look and see? Or... Yeah. Yeah. You know, let's get out of here. Well, let's yeah. get the hell out of here. I'm going to take another <laughs> moment to look at the more impulsive members of our party. I and still everybody. am confused as to what <laughs> we are trying to accomplish here. Are we yeah. to just return to the surface? No, we got to yeah, find the big mama really chicken. We're trying to find the mama chicken. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's find the mama chicken, Huzzah. but let's also stay alive. I like I like her so much. I know that thou dost. I have the best sister. I, I like her too. Uh, I'm gonna remember remember everybody. Fifteen feet of me, okay? Like, see right. the little phoenixes flying around. Not outside of that, or else your lunch. And I will. Hi. Would it be start. helpful if I fly above you to allow people to surround you? I Let's all know. just come in together. And Briv yeah. smells like he's been out in it. Yeah. <laughs> Dirt. Dirt. I don't have a sense of smell. Stuff. Oh, well, that's excellent. That's another thing for a lender to love about you. All right, so then. <laughs> oh, with our, with our you did not just. With, with our halfling nimbleness, like we can, like we get literally get underfoot. So, I mean, it's. Uh, we're like, <laughs> yeah, we're okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, so everyone's assembled. Uh, everyone's within 15 feet of Orkara. She's mm. basically surrounded by uh, glowing white light and these phoenixes that are like flying around. And every time uh, one of these abyssal chickens tries to get near the party, 
one of these uh, these spectral phoenixes basically intercepts it and causes it celestial damage. I Eldritch Blast everyone that touches her thing. When it's like, yeah. <laughs> every once in a while, one of them tries to like get through the barrier and starts burning. And then, okay, you you can kind of keep on Eldritch Blasting things as they get through the barrier. Mm-hmm. As um, we walk, I'm going to be resummoning Griff. Okay. I want, my, I want my Griffy back. Mm-hmm. Uh, doesn't that take like 10 minutes? It does, ritual? but if her spiritual guardians are up for 10 minutes, I figure okay. that's a good time to do it. So you are moving through the tunnel, and you now are stepping on bones. Oh. Thousands of bones. All mm. of them pecked to pieces. That's the ground. It's crunching and crackling under your feet as you're oh. moving forward. We're going straight into a lair. Wait, 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 wait. We should be quiet. I would not consider myself an expert, but I mean, are these clearly animal bones or people-ish bones? These, these are people. I am an expert, Freebie, and these are certainly humanoid bones. You're not an expert. You don't even have bones. <laughs> Benelope, I have I... bones. They're just magical. Penelope, I appreciate the idea of being quiet, but, and I imagine at that point, one of the abyssal chickens tries to pass by this... <laughs> and they explode, and I just Zapper. point to that, and I go, "I don't think that's gonna happen." I'm like, "Why not?" Hmm? It, it, it can. <laughs> and Penelope casts "Pass Without Trace." Oh, nice. You, uh, the the sickening sound of like crunching on, uh, like skulls that have been packed over and over again have become frail and brittle. And, and femur bones are crackling under feet. Uh, all of that sound stops immediately as you begin to walk as Penelope casts Pass Without Trace. And you are now making almost no sound at all. And I'm you also don't kind feel of the grossness the underneath you. <laughs> yes. So you get a uh, plus 10 to all stealth checks. So the, nice. uh, the abyssal chickens continue to try to pierce the barrier uh, you are getting at the end of the tunnel however and the tunnel is widening up a great deal um Briv, can you like i don't know like bless this or something you know like <laughs> these people are dead you know they deserve like a little something very well freely and then Briv very loudly not very mindful of the past without trace. Um, just simply says, here lies all kinds of dead people pecked to death by abyssal infernal chickens. Thou should have been more powerful, more well-trained and been better prepared for thine fate. Freely gets oddly emotional at his beautiful words, and it's like, <laughs> I wish they'd been better. <laughs> As do I. I. Now we judgment. must be better. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh dear. Remember, Briv, you've still got bardic inspiration that I gave you earlier. Got it. I'm oh, are we? Use it. Does that work on, with bless? Or is that uh, you're you're within does. ten feet of me, likely, so you get plus four to this. <gasps> I got it. My first nat twenty. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's four. I break the bank. That's four. That's so it. You, bro- you broke the streak. Once you get five, oh, that's it. Like, Grim, that's, that's the max. You get to add so. four. Plus four. Yes. Is five the max? Then, uh, I don't know plus a D4 for from me as well. So, 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 okay, so I'm not so blessed, but what is your... Le- legendary bundle. So everyone in chat. Be yes, noticed. congrats. Uh, uh, what's your die? Freely? I have a question about uh, six. Um, I, I have a question about bless. Uh, do we have to use it, or we can choose to use it during the time? Like, is it the next roll as the no, four? It's, 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 it's on. It, it stays up as long as I'm concentrating on it. Uh, okay. Which is why roll. I have my candle to remind me whether I have a concentration spell on or not. Hey, right now I have a, a 19. Tip I learned it at so. a... Oh, yeah. okay. You know what? Actually, I'm going to use it. Oh, now it's 23. Yeah, because okay. I'm not going to let rocks fall on my head. So uh, what are the numbers from everyone? So 23 16. from you. 16. 19. <laughs> Also a, also a 16. Okay, Heckling everyone, speed. Everyone of the 16 drops as the ground completely caves in underneath you. Oh. And you drop and drop and you all take 15 points nope. of bludgeoning damage as you what? hit the ground. I could fly. I would like to not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to I'm already like 
like shepherding the entire. I don't care about a measly fifteen points of damage. Okay. I'm already trying to shepherd the entire group, like so. My wings are probably out, being like, "All right, let's keep on going." And then that happens. Um, mm -hmm. But I will come to the ground with everybody to keep my spirit guardians with the people who just dropped. Amy, you you, uh, you fell as well, correct? And what is your character's name again, so that I may uh, commit it to memory forever? <clears throat> Bamboo boo. <laughs> bamboo boo bamboo boo falls to the ground um you don't take as much uh bludgeoning damage you take about half but your hand goes right through some kind of object and it is covered in goo oh gross 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 nasty oh, nasty it's super viscous no, and as you're no. moving your hand it is just whipping goo over everyone around you oh no, nasty nasty that away normally i am keen on this but what is this that you are slinging everywhere I, I have no way of knowing that. Why would, <laughs> would you, why would you think I know that? that why is... wouldst thou start slinging it everywhere then? Oh, I panicked. I, I it's it's a natural reaction. This shouldn't be happening. I think I we agree just agree with that. There's some goo under the bones. Eaten. This is a weird a weird like geodome here. We've got goo bones us. <laughs> okay. Uh is that now are we at a hole or are we in another tunnel you are in a big cave underneath. i can see in the dark do i see anything Briv, yeah, eat yeah this. you do see everything everyone who didn't Here, drop don't, though don't mm -hmm. encourage him you take 17 points of piercing and slashing damage everyone who didn't fall with orkira is outside and you get swarmed by hundreds of teeth and claws crawling <sighs> over you biting you because or Kira has fallen down the tunnel hole. Level You are four. no longer within that 15 feet radius of celestial oh energy. I'm gonna energy. level four thunder wave to kill as many of these things as possible <laughs> and then jump in the hole. Wow. They're all over yet. Like, yeah, I'm like, them, <laughs> they're sinking their teeth into Freely's neck how, and to his how elbow. How far above us are they? Uh, 20 feet. Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn some folks. Oh my. I'm gonna use my channel divinity to uh, turn the unholy. And that Ooh, means nice. any fiend or undead that can see or hear me within 30 feet of me, which I think would count if they're only 20 feet above, yeah. uh, th they've got to make a wisdom saving throw, DC 13, or they're turned and run away. Okay. I'm going to just... turn them into chicken salad. So, okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Linda, this is horrifying. Like everyone who isn't in that bubble, um, you're covered in abyssal chickens and just hissing in your ears and biting no no, no and no, scrapes no, no, and no, cuts no, is just disgusting this will not do yeah um and as so tell me how how you do this amy uh how does bam bamboo boo just say it bamboo boo yeah say uh, <laughs> how does bamboo boo uh well, use this word first of all she hears she hears the swarm as we do drop with the the uh, swarming phoenixes and she immediately um, reaches up and, and from her pallet inside, Dirk's strong jaw, uh, she summons these words that otherwise she wouldn't know. And um, I think it was Paylor. So by the might of Paylor, uh, none of y'all can attack my friends, okay? <laughs> gotta leave and it's just gotta be cool for a little bit. What's, oh, what's awesome. the saving throw? I said hi. <laughs> uh, DC 13. Wisdom. All of the abyssal chickens fly away. Oh, immediately. Hey. Oh, I have, tell me I got to thunder wave some of them before. They <laughs> yeah. They all fly away and then thunder wave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, then I jump in the hole. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you jump into the hole. If everyone goes into the hole, uh, Briv, you look look with your, your dark vision and you see just thousands upon thousands. Sorry, half of... not the only ones with dark vision. Yeah, well, he asked first. <laughs> <laughs> we are so, the best ones with dark vision. You see no. disgusting, slimy, viscous, hard scaled eggs. Ah! Thousands of them all the way as far as this massive tunnel that has Can some I trade iridescent mushrooms parts? glowing the area. And it's this, it's you're just, it's like you're in a giant egg crate. There's so many of them. Briv cracks one open. There, there's, there's, there's yellow goo inside. 
<laughs> oh no. Uh, is so salty and. <laughs> but I kind of like that, to be honest. Yeah. Um. I mean, imagine if Seven Eleven invented their own eggs. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That is no. so descriptive. No, not yeah. Cadbury, uh, not Cadbury cream eggs. Okay. Yeah. No. It, they, it's it's very spicy. This is like Cajun spiced uh, eggs, and it is some kind of delicious, but definitely not good for you in the long term. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, uh, Brib eats a lot of stuff that's not good for him in the long term. So, however, an eggs start exploding. They start shaking, and they almost—they're being—they're reacting to the celestial energy coming off of Orakira, mm -hmm. and one pops and mm -hmm. explodes, and one of the eggs just fries from the celestial energy radiating from Orakira onto the ground. And then another egg pops, and another egg pops, and another egg pops. Briv, yes. this is your brain. This is your brain on a missile <laughs> chicken. Any questions? Can you, can you scramble these? Can I, I have so them? many questions. This, this is I, your brain on demon's blood. <laughs> I just start Eldritch blasting them. Like, hey, once I get down here, I'm uh, like, no. Sure, no, I'm no, just going to start no, cutting. No. <laughs> no. Like, well, come on, well, mom. Do we Mama really chicken. concerned that we're slaughtering innocents? Did they innocent look innocent to you? that are trying to kill us. Babies. Well, Which way do we go? Spring. Where are we going, guys? Except for down. I wanna, I wanna heat up my body somehow to 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 roll around. <gasps> I can around. help you. Oh, great. Heat, heat metal. metal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But what about the squishy bits? You will take damage, but I wanna. Oh yeah, I might take damage. That's okay. But I wanna roll around in it and scramble these eggs. Oh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, you cast unposed heat metal on <laughs> the warforged. <laughs> A warforged. Um, so you're going white, reddish hot. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> and you start rolling around in the eggs. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you're not. Cause... You're not non-stick. So you are getting like you are becoming just an egg person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just while... getting stuck onto you over and over. You're not while... made of Teflon. This insanity is taking this place. This is a problem I for actually... Avon's daughter, who's I take a I take Alindra by the hand. Game. And I just say to her, I'm like, Alindra, if they were innocent, the divine guardians wouldn't be squishing them. Oh, that's an excellent I, point. And Alindra starts smashing them with logic and reason. <laughs> her starts to say, that's actually not how that works. It's anyone that I don't designate. So, uh, never mind. And then Alindra, just... I must say that this is a situation where thou hast egg on thine face. Oh my Less god. talking, more smashing. Oh my god. Exactly. I do like this new Alindra. Egg on thine <laughs> face. Yep. <laughs> I, I, the whole time I'm yelling though, I'm trying to get the mama Alindra doesn't attention. like that Briv got a really good joke in, so she's just ignoring it. But <laughs> Jen is very amused by that. <laughs> um, are, by scrambling these yolks and, and egg whites and all that stuff, are, are we opening a, a passageway in any sense of that? No, but you do hear another... <laughs> no. To the rage of the mama. And you hear a... And you see this thing slowly lower itself from the ceiling. It is a 18 foot tall abyssal chicken oh we don't sit still while, while this happens no there's a fireball an up egg. on the ceiling <laughs> like, so, now it's, it's time to go to work and there's an abyssal chicken <laughs> I, I cast a fireball on it as soon as i see it on the ceiling centering okay. it so it doesn't hit us all right go ahead Dude, my goodness. Uh, we're gonna keep the initiative that we already rolled and you no, may... it, it, it makes it save. It's a dex 15, and I have full scene this moment. Okay. It gets a nine. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, nice. And then we've got B Dave. I believe you're next. I believe I do. Um,. I am uh nope I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on brand here. All right. Um <laughs> I'm going to uh disparate um 
I'm going to uh, dissonant whispers on this thing. Bonus action, I'm going to mark it as my um, as my hexblades curse, so okay. I get some bonuses against it. And right. then I'm going to dissonant whispers. It needs to beat a wisdom of fourteen or some stuff happens. Okay. So I'll tell you the stuff 20, if it beats twenty six damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it fails. All right, it takes twenty six points of damage. From fireball uh, freely, you are able to do so, and now we got hope. Hope we do. Well, wait, my, oh, we my got or Kira after wait, that. Go ahead. Hang on, sorry. My dissonant whispers hit it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, it did. It's three d six psychic damage, and it has to try and get away from me. Um, does that work on something with no intelligence? <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, yeah, it just has to hear me. It doesn't have to understand me. It has to hear me. Okay. All right. Yep. Um. I'm, I'm glad that I frightened it on a primal level, honestly. Um, oh, that is uh, 12 points of damage, and it has to try and get away from me. Okay, it, is, it immediately explodes through the ceiling, flying <laughs> off haphazardly, <laughs> leaving you behind. Freely? Uh, yeah, that's making ball. it get away from us. We want it towards <laughs> us where we can kill it. The whole place smells amazing. It smells <laughs> because so many eggs are now cooking in the fireball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, let's go after it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't You're just stomping through eggs. Or, uh, or Kira, I, I, fly yes. me up. <laughs> Fly me to the chicken. <laughs> Don't we all want to go as a group or else we're all going to get swarmed up there, right? I care not about the swarms. I care about I do, and I'm the one that's going to fly ridiculously us. ridiculously foul adventure. I'm oh. Oh. Uh, Thank you all now, for tuning in. This has been Beyond Heroes. Right? You're going to say stuff like that and then you expect me to cart you around? Come on. <laughs> Uh, do we want to chase after it, or do we want to? I am here all week. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go kill it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I go. wanna. I wanna get a swing in on that chicken. Yeah, you have an. You can make an attack of opportunity. I will oh. allow everyone to make one attack of opportunity. Ah, you're welcome. Really? How long before it comes back? Uh, never. It knows what's up. What's waiting for it down here? Uh, <laughs> it's just the one action. It doesn't say. It, so but I mean, it was it just... up up high, right? So can. Is it ranged? Like, um, it, or were we close enough that we're actually hitting it? will it? have to be ranged. It will have to be ranged. I'm sorry. Can we use magic? You can use ma magic. Uh, have, you cannot. Uh, you would have to be a war mage. Yeah. That's what Very I thought. Dead your action. So. I figured I would try. Um, does um, a 12 yeah. hit? Nice, nice try. Yeah, we did. Does a 12 hit? Uh, 12 does hit. Oh, okay. So for uh, only, I guess... Can I? Yeah, I can. I can actually divine smite it, so I will. So uh, that is six points of damage, but I'll use a second. A sec. Ooh, I'll use what a weapon second. Are you using? Slot. My. Oh, did you say it had to be ranged? Yes. Yeah. Oh, then I cannot use. I cannot divine smite it, but that's okay. Six damage. Okay. You do six points of damage with what weapon? Uh, the my actually my longbow. Okay, you, you you stick an arrow in its backside as the the queen abyssal chicken flies out. Uh, Alindra, you immediately notice that there are several infernal um, hieroglyphs all okay. over this cave. This so thing I notice that was as I summoned. hit with my twenty one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do ten damage. <laughs> all right. There are, there are hieroglyphs in Inferno, which I did not speak. Ooh. But it I looks hear... like that language we saw when we were in in the hells. Can you not see those? I, I see them, but I can't read them. I also cannot read them. Uh, <laughs> Freely, <laughs> says that thing, Freely says that thing is just going to run. So if we want to kill uh, it now and... Comprehend languages? Uh, you can cast comprehend languages. This was a very specific summoning spell. Mm -hmm. um, meant to bring... A great demon from Avernus. Um, oh. But uh, the entire cave is now burning and on fire and fire. In fact, the eggs seem to be semi caustic and explosive. 
and are starting to pop and explode all around you at this exact moment. But this, this was the work of someone who deliberately summoned these things. So there's hey. a bigger fish that we have to that find. There's a bigger fish. Yes. Go away is a bigger fish. Or Are chicken, you, as it were. Do you think, or do you think they meant to bring the infernal, the abyssal chicken? I tried to get a powerful no, demon, and all like I got were these damn chickens. <laughs> I'm tired of these mother grabbing chickens from this mother grabbing <laughs> abyss. <laughs> no, it, looks, it looks like the mom brought the brood, and then all the Eladrin are gone, so. So you think that Eladrin are in a, a furnace right now? Wait, no, I think I the elaborate they... Did they get polymorphed into abyssal chickens? No, I think all those bones we walked over were a bunch no. of elaborate. Oh, they we got converted feel. by the uh, by the chickens. No. Is, does anyone know a reversal summoning spell? Yeah, it's this sword. Let's go after it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go after it. All right, is everyone we... heading up uh, up through the tunnels to the surface? Yes. yes. Okay. Do We're gonna we drive it into the dinosaurs. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> we, just, we just banish oh, well. her because that's a much easier way to it, get rid of it. It doesn't last forever. Do we banish her? If they're not from it. this plane, yeah, it does. <sighs> it's permanent if they're not from this plane. It's a minute if they are. The summoning thing that the, all the glyphs just before we go is—is yeah. is that like done or is it gonna keep summoning stuff? It may keep summoning. It may still be active. Uh, what? Yeah, what's it made of? What are the runes made of? Blood. And they're Brood carved on. <laughs> they're carved like, on stone. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh, Todd! Remember at the beginning of the game at you game take Hall fifteen Con? points of acid damage. <laughs> I was I was a janitor. I'm I was a janitor of the whole of the whole um, koalicious thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean. <laughs> okay. I'll try and press to digitate to help. I'll help, yeah. Help if I see All my right. sister scrubbing. All yeah. right. You, you start scrubbing away and getting rid right of the inf- the infernal uh, scripts that are all over the cave, and you sense that the infernal en- energy in this in- entire um, cavern and all the burning eggs that c- continuously to pop and to explode. You feel like some kind of that connection that. Uh, that someone had somehow weakened the the, the the portal between Avernus itself and the Prime Material Plane has now solidified as you've scrubbed away all the runes. Wait, in a good way? In a good way. Oh, thank God. Okay. Hey. No, because we're in Avernus now. That is yeah, the yeah. opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, we're shit. too well. Too well. Alindra, yeah. we're doing it. Alindra, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's fun. It's like trolls. If we grew up together, we're doing trolls. Everyone, we're doing trolls. I'm doing trolls with my sister. You <laughs> all hear a message in, from sending uh, from Rarv, your pilot, who was repairing the bow balloon that was stolen from Acquisitions Incorporate. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, well, uh, good news and some bad news. Uh, so I'm here in the bow balloon. And oh, Murray's that's great. fixed! Yeah, everything. I, I'm not sold on that name for the for the battle balloon. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no one's no one's suggested It's not even any alliteration of any going. kind. It could be yeah. the Bob the battle balloon, but you didn't go for that. But, no, um, I went for Murray, and no one's told me otherwise. So it's Murray. Murray it is. Yeah, Perhaps. clerics are always so yeah. so what's, pushy. So what's uh, the bad news? So uh, I'm above the Eladrin town, which I assume you're in because parts of it are now on fire and it's raining. But also, there's like a million abyssal chickens up here. <laughs> so, like, if you could maybe get up here and into the bad balloon, it's either that or I leave you here to die. And that would that that gets awkward Let's for go. me. Can, more can more realistically, <laughs> I start feeling kind of bad. Can we bring my wait, sister? Wait, 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 wait. Is this like an inhabited part of Chulp? Like, I mean, have we doomed people to an onslaught of abyssal chickens? Because Freely is not leaving them if that's the case. We gotta Neither destroy the really. mothership. <laughs> well, I mean, there, <laughs> that's how it, it works, right? We we cleaned yes. we cleaned the room, so now there's a finite amount of chickens, <laughs> and a, a, unless you know they they mate, but for now, I think. You know, the dinosaurs can take care of them. Have any of you read Velo's Guide to Monsters? It gets into a 
bunch of the wildlife that's in Cholton. You really Bolo. Quick, let's I go. Think that's we'll be okay. Let's go. I let's think go. we'll be fine. Rarv, do you see there's a giant there's, chicken there's that's on fire flying around anywhere? <laughs> Uh, yeah. in that's, a, yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, yes, I did, and it, it flew into the clouds uh, and went away. So I don't uh, know. Well, well, we should put an APB out on that chicken. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really, well, you're right. Can, can we get back to Port, Port Mianzaru and we can tell them there and perhaps. Yeah, tell no, them no, what? No, that no, we no, unleashed no, hell no. upon their world? No, no it was someone... already there. Someone else unleashed hell. We came and destroyed bits of I it. I mean, we kind of encouraged Wait. it to the surface. Oh, okay, we well, so the... <laughs> I'm going to drop these ropes. And if you want to climb up, that's on <laughs> you. Hey, at least we didn't release the thousands of fiends that are down here. That's the chickens. That's these the are chickens. the fiends. So we, we oh. did. <laughs> we didn't release Wait. them either. They could have left at any time. <laughs> Just yeah, we just showed them the way to more humanity. We turned off the faucet, but we didn't solve the flood. Yes. I mean, I do get on the rope. Does the does the ship still have those um, We're mounted still going cannons? Up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's got kind of like a rope ladder that, like, as you grab one of the rope ladders, it starts spinning and, and pulling you up immediately. Is there one for me? But, I immediately go to one of those cannons and just start blasting into the. Into the ship. Is everyone else heading to the airship? Yeah. I'm yes. gonna look for the dinosaurs first and see if they're okay. We're gonna uh, get them onto the ship. All of them. Have listen, listen. Been... I I see Adam shaking his head. Lauren knows what's happened to these things, but our is gonna look because all of our them have like, been throw... eaten completely clean of all no. of their bones. What about Todd! the pteranodon that can fly high? Todd, you terrible human. They've been licked clean by the abyssal chickens. But see, I believe that mm, 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 he yeah. would be okay. Mm, 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 has flown away, and, and Joe, the abyssal chickens have attempted to kill to it. Joe. Hmm. Well, Joe. Yaka wanted to die with her boots on, so yeah. <laughs> when you we... see Bianca at the very top of one of the trees. Oh, is there one remaining compy? Yeah, you've got one of the compies is on your back. The compies yeah. have been with you. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> gnawing on a bit of my flesh. But thou needs <laughs> at least two so compies to make, make more compies of compies. Probably. So, well, oh, no, 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 it's right. a compy so, machine. Uh, I got. Uh, so we got Freely on the cannons, and he's he's blowing up chickens left and right. But I'd like to get out of here, out of the storm, if that's okay. Yeah. Are we leaving that dinosaur to die in the tree? Take it with us. Wait, what you're saying is my my yeah. It's yours. Oh, oh, Fiaka, not Bianca, but you get it. It trans <laughs> translates to Bianca. But yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I can yeah. get her out of here. Wait. <laughs> I have no idea how. I don't know how to uh, help her. Help her. You you can shoot some kind of lasso de device that yeah. is on it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on one like, of the cannons. I'm like, oh, Kira, you gotta help me. I gotta help. <laughs> you gotta help I me. You want me to help? What can I do? Wait, wait, can somebody cast fly? Like fly on her? Like on me on her? Mm -hmm. And then I can ride a flying raptor? Oh my yes. god, yes. <laughs> flying raptor. <laughs> yes. Okay, so yes. there is now a flying sure. raptor. The raptor this flies. This is a one time deal, you. though. <laughs> this is not a regular situation. We're not going uh, to go into this madness again. Uh, so the raptor is now flying. Uh, so they get her safely to the ship. Everyone climbs into the ship, and I need a couple of people to make uh, cannon checks. I need everyone to roll 66 using green flame cannons at the abyssal chickens that are trying to swarm you as the as the uh, airship Murray. Oh, I've still got the, my spirit guardians going, so. Yeah, they're still going. So no one's getting on the ship. Yeah. Okay. 22. I'm just and well, back at, and at this forth, point, it's been on... 10 minutes, so it's failed. Oh, I'll it's, cast, it, I'll, it's, I'll it's cast finally... it again as we're coming on up. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I, okay. I don't want to. We're supposed to be coming through this horde of chickens. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm just going to keep the phoenixes around, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, go and roll your damage, everyone. 18, 22, 24. These are oh, all good numbers. How much was it? Huh? How much damage? 66. 66. 66. Pew 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 Yeah, it, the sky yeah. is the sky is filled with burning chickens just raining down onto Chult. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a parrot. We did good here. <laughs> and several of the dead bodies like fall onto the actual deck and are burning and cooking. And it smelled kind of good. No, Briv, don't do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Too late. His finger looking good. Listen, Rav knows how to cook these things right. It'll, we'll have a good meal and then we'll never eat them again. That's the way it works. You... That's what I say every time I have a piece of cake. <laughs> you slow. You you quickly sail out of the storm, um, leaving the the what is left of the abyssal chicken swarm in that storm, and you are heading west to the port. Everything seems to be fine. Is anyone cleaning off chickens? Anyone getting blood off? Is someone cooking chickens? Yeah, I'm gonna swab the decks. Okay, are you still covered in egg? <laughs> Chris did not have yes, yeah, the yes, I Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm more aware of the dirt on the on the decks, but I'm probably dripping scrambled eggs all over the place while I'm moving. All right. Uh, Do you see the big giant chicken anywhere? No, there's nothing. Um, so, or uh, uh, for you, Amy, you are down in the cargo hold, and at this exact moment a large spike goes right through your chest. <laughs> and you hear this <laughs> and you take 23 points of piercing damage. What in the what? <laughs> what? God. It's coming from inside what? the house. Oh, it's coming from inside the house. You hear uh, this monstrous scream from the cargo hold in yeah. Murray, the bow balloon. I'll rush downstairs. What's going on? You see the queen abyssal chicken <laughs> shockingly in the cargo hold with one of its spiky tails sticking right out. St spiky claws sticking right out. Oh, no. Amy, you okay. you 20 so, feet tall. You do not get time. to do that to my sister. And I ban run over and banishment right on it. Okay. I'm going yeah, to yeah, pull yeah, the yeah. sister Washing off of also. the spike before she does that. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, Rakira, you, ah. pull, you pull her off the spike. Yeah, you have a big hole in your chest. I will be healing that. I'll be, uh, but I see what Alindra's about to do. And I'm like, hold still, hold still, get me off the spike. I'll, I'll get you some healing. B. Dave, what are you doing? I, will, I just have a question. I'm not saying whether or not I should do it. I'm just whether or not Freely thinks it's possible. If I turn the cannon around and shoot through the deck, will it be over the hole where the bird is? I realize we're on the ship. Well, That's future Freely's it's kind problem. Of a flame cannon, so you're probably going to ignite the uh, entire ship. Okay, on fire. it's not a projectile. So it's like will a flame technically tower. succeed in your goal. No, Freely is not that much of a halfling of action. Okay, but uh, I don't have enough money to ask <laughs> for Max Dunbar for new art for the entire group. So, <laughs> I, so it's, all, it's your choice. <laughs> well, is it, I do I get? I mean, I immediately the moment I hear a scream, I go. So do I get close enough that I can get there and do something? Yeah, you get there. Where Everyone gets a chance to, get to do there something and do something. Where? But it matters the sequence. Is banishment going off first? Uh, it's going to go off last. I'm going to say. So everyone, you can take an action against this giant okay. queen I'm abyssal chicken. Hey. How about uh, thee, thy foul fiend? How did, how did Rarv let this happen? How do you just miss a twenty foot chicken? <laughs> I'm on your Dirty ship. twenty to hit. I'm attacking twice, though. Penelope, that's your action. You're one. <laughs> I'll take it. Puzzles. I believe As I hit both times. Riv, you, you hit both times. Is, Go ahead. It is a fiend, correct? Yes, it is a total. It's definitely a fiend. We have established fiendom. As I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack, too, right? I can do that? Yeah, you can still attack. I'm going to take my double-bladed scimitar and slice it right behind me. Surely, it gonna, if its tail is in me, it's going to stab it right in the butt. Yep. Oh, baby. I'm going to smite. All right, everyone roll your left. damage. It's all, I'm, you're all, I'm it's very hard gonna, target not to hit in a storage facility, in a I'm gonna, cargo hold. <laughs> I want you to know it landed on a 20 and rolled off of it. It was so close. Oh. Uh, but oof. it was there, but it was like, meh. But uh, yeah, I also Eight. hit and I'm going to smite. Okay. 52 points of damage. Cool. 52 points of damage. I'm gonna smite two. Oh my God. It is hurt. Like you've broken one of its legs. Also, Amy, you get, as I pull you off the spike, you get 18 uh, hit points back as I'll cast Cure Wounds at third level. Oof. Oh my gosh. 18 plus 12, 30 points of damage to the Abyssal Chicken. 
Thank you. Thank you. How many hit points do we get? 18? 18 back. Yeah, you Thank literally you cut, so much. You literally cut the tail clean off of it. No, I don't. I carve it a new cloaca. <laughs> okay. I, I just yell, get off my plane and smite. That's amazing. <laughs> How much damage does your smite do? 37 total. Wow. Okay. You do. <laughs> you, you, you break its other leg and the abyssal chicken is now desperately trying to flap around and the entire bell balloon is now unbalanced and, and leaning and careening to the left and the right. No, it's not because it's banished. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I have foreseen this no moment. Legs. I did not foresee it attacking my sister, but I foresaw this moment to get to 13 on its roll, uh, which will make it fail. It's safe. The abyssal chicken, this legless abyssal chicken, <laughs> now just bamps out of existence in just all this air rushes into the thing as you hear it hiss one last time. No one beats up on my sister but me. <laughs> but, but its Riff. tail is left behind and I'm going to claim the cut off tail and say, um, looks like mommy's got a new feather boa. <laughs> Riff. He would she, like you. She's a half paladin, but I'm a halfling paladin. Chest bump, bring it in. Let's go. <laughs> and it's way too hard when I do this to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even like pull a little metal to the to the <laughs> into the pores just a little bit, you know. Uh, really is is slightly concussed. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately lay on hands like I grab his little head. Yeah, I try to think like it didn't hurt. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Oh. Um. Alindra reaches into her bag and she kind of grabs Bamboo Boo and pulls her aside because I, I know there's a good chance we may not see her again anytime soon. And she pulls out an Averin coin um, that she has strung onto a necklace. Todd, do you want to describe the coin? Uh, yeah, it's uh, the most arrogant carving you've ever seen on the coin of uh, Averin, <laughs> who sort of is your father. And, <laughs> and one where he looks very stern and kind of insidious with a raised eyebrow. And on the other side, he's like Buddy Averin, like he's super smiley. <laughs> uh, doing the d d equivalent of thumbs up. So. <laughs> that's, that's, and that's the Averin I know. <laughs> Me too. And if you ever get stuck in a bind... Uh... He usually will uh will come help. Usually. You're, gi Not, you're giving this uh, to me? He'll help. If you're stuck in a bind and need chaos because not, there's no other solution, then that's the time to maybe reach out. But not unless you're ready for sheer Wait. chaos. But call me. I'm, I'm happy to help out too. Can I reach you using this coin? No, but do you know sending? Um, no. Can I scribe a scroll of sending? to teach it to her yeah you can okay i would like to do that just use this <laughs> okay wow it's like a uh, calling card yeah i need to put yeah. in my 14 digit code and so i have to ask because you're giving me all this stuff and that's so great are you kicking me out of the band <laughs> no no i'd rather you stay i figured you were going to leave people don't tend to stick around here no, yeah. I stick around. Briv, yeah. this is the A and B conversation, so see your way out. Oh, hey, Briv. Oh, hey, Briv. Oh, hey, Briv. <laughs> <laughs> such, a, such a middle schooler right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, and well, that's our adventure for Beyond Heroes. I have, But there is one moment. Oh, so uh, very specifically, you land in Sigil. You get there. Um... A uh, cloaked figure you see actually run into um, Averin's shop as you guys are walking back out successful after destroying these abyssal chickens. And this cloaked shadowy figure walks over to Averin and opens a small box and hands him an abyssal chicken egg. And 
Ivern kind of eyes it greedily and opens up all of the doors to his vault and places it right next to Pickle Rick and the Eye of Vecna and then shuts <laughs> the vault. <laughs> And that's our adventure. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Amy Vorpal, for guesting today. Oh my gosh, this was so fun. Oh Thank you so much for having me. So cool. A fantastic job. B. Dave Walters, uh, Hope Lavelle, Jen Kretschmer, Adam Bradford. Thank you, William Box, our producer, so much for uh, watching this in Sandy. Um, he's into the radiation of our nerddom, uh, dealing with it every day. Uh, Lauren, of course, playing Okara Eldrex and Hope Lavelle. Uh, I don't think I missed it. And we miss you, TJ Storm. I'm sorry that you're not here today. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everyone. We miss you, TJ. Also, also, in Freely's mind, Kane is the one that started all of that because he was haterish on those <laughs> other Eladrin. Eladrin yeah. Ones, so. <laughs> yeah. He's the villain of the story. They are posers. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching.